YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. I am back. It's Cameron coming with another video uh, since my latest video that everybody was anticipating. Wanted to say first and foremost, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the people that have watched my video, that have commented on the video, uh, that have subscribed since the last video. Uh, I'm going to start out again by saying, guys, please, please, please like and subscribe my videos. The more reception that I get from you all, the more videos and content that I'm going to do because obviously supply and demand, right? So, uh, you know, I, just to get right into it, I don't want to waste anyone's time on the fluff because I hate those fluff videos. Let's get right into the meat and potatoes, okay? Uh, a lot of people have been asking me questions. First off, well, let me start off by this. The people that have contacted me via email, thank you, thank you, thank you. I am going to respond uh, with all of the information that you were requesting. Uh, we will definitely, definitely be in touch. Thanks again. Thanks again. And if you guys um, don't have my information, I'll put my email address in the description uh, once I post a video. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of uh, a, a lot of comments on my previous video, which you all can see, uh, asking questions about uh, about American income. I, at, from this moment on. I'm going to say one thing about AIL and then I'm not speaking on American income again. OK, uh, I'm not going to speak on my experience with American income any longer uh, after after this. And, uh, you know, anything else you guys need to probably you, you, know, you guys are going to have to do your own research on that company. Um, I can only speak on my experience with American income and my personal experience alone. Nobody else's and everybody's experience is going to be different. So, like I said before, with American income, I started out really, really great. Um, was make, making a lot of biz, uh, making a lot of money, um, you know, seeing a lot of clients, stuff like that. It just fizzled off. You know, it, 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 it fizzled out uh, for me and having a family, I could not afford to continue to work as much as I was working, making as much as I was making, which some months, uh, which some weeks were nothing. Um, a lot of weeks end up becoming nothing when you're still putting in the same amount of time. Whenever you have to accompany that with recruiting, um, you know, you're recruiting during the daytime and then you run your appointment starting at two o'clock until whenever uh, on the, you know, on your field days, you're working a 10 to 12 hour day. Sorry guys, my phone dropped. Um, so when people ask the question as of, uh, you know, work life balance, um, no, you don't have work life balance. I'm not going to lie to you. You don't, um, initially it's going to be very, very, hold on. It's going to be very, very difficult at the very beginning of your career with American income to have that work life balance. Okay. Just going to put, I'm just going to let you guys I'm just going to let you guys know right now. It's very difficult to have that work-life balance. Um, so I'm not going to sugarcoat anything for you guys. It's not until you are able to get in a situation where you've built, you've built your team and that team is writing consistent business and this, that, and the other. But of course, they're still going to push you to want to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. So be prepared the first year, at least the first year, 18 months or whatever, you're not going to have much work life balance. It's going to be work. You know, I was working six days a week. Um, once I decided to get into recruiting, I was working way more than that. Uh, so we had six days a week and we, um, that was it. So it's got, you know, and of course, if you get in there and you start killing it and within the first year you start getting your renewals and that's balancing out to where to, you know, but I, I mean, they require you to have certain amount of appointments set and uh, and that sort of thing. So, I mean, yeah, um, but when you are training with somebody and you, you know, and you have to you may be in a slump to where you're personally not making a lot of money or having a dry spell, but you have a trainee in your car and uh, you finally write a piece of business and it's, and it's expected that you give that business to, um, that, that you give that business to your trainee just to get them coded, that typically puts a bad taste in your mouth when you have to go home and speak to your, 
significant other and say that, yeah, I did write something finally, but I had to give it to my trainee. Um, again, guys, I'm not speaking ill will on American income. Okay. There's a lot of people in this company that are making a lot of money, uh, doing exactly that. Okay. American income was a great company. The people, the agency I worked for was a great agency. The, the, my, my, uh, you know, all of my hiring managers and everybody that I worked for, they were awesome people straight up, straight up. And they're still people that I consider friends today. Um, the business just didn't work for me. Okay. So that's it. All right. Moving on to the comments that I've received, uh, here over the next, uh, over the last couple of days and more specifically one in particular, I want to address a couple things. Okay. Whenever you let's the question about a pyramid scheme. Okay. Let me ask you guys a question here. What person has started up a business, okay, and has not had people under them or work for them. Did Sam Walton open up Walmart by himself and work only by himself, or did he decide, huh, maybe I should have some employees? Did Sam Walton open up his first grocery store on his own dime, or did he get help financial help, investors, these sort of things. What do investors normally do? Investors normally will invest in you and then they will require a 5%, 10%, whatever return on their investment. And this is even with Fortune 500 companies. So no matter what business, if you, in this, in, in this insurance industry, for one, everybody, you're self-employed, right? Yes. What business can you go into where you you only have to pay maybe two or three hundred dollars to get started? And then on the back end of your career, not the back end, but as you start in your career, you have the potential to be making an astronomical amount of money just for a three hundred dollar buy in. Come on, guys. So every business is a pyramid. If you want to start out and you want to be in this industry and you want to make the money that these people are making that you see these insurance gurus, they didn't do that on their own pen, guys. They got there because what did they do? They they were successful and then they ended up employing other insurance agents to work under their agency. But is it that bad of a deal? Because these people are given an opportunity, the very same opportunity that that person was given who's making a million dollars a year. Do you really think that that pyramid scheme really affects this person who's making a million dollars a year or several hundred thousand dollars a year? Think about this. So, and I want to make sure I, I clear this up with you guys. My particular position here, you know, pyramid scheme Every business, like I said, every business is a pyramid. There's always somebody at the top, whether it's you or somebody else, period. Unless you come out with your own money to start your own company up, you didn't have a bank, you didn't go get a business loan. If you did a business loan, that biz, that bank owns your, owns your company. You don't own that company. Just like when you purchase a vehicle. When you buy a car, you don't own that car until they give you your deed saying you bought the car. The bank owns that car. So I think we need to stop being so fixated on what it is as far as a quote unquote pyramid scheme. Look at the opportunity that's given to you. You have an opportunity to be these insurance gurus if you put in the work uh, to, you know, and, and you can end up building your legacy by employing by by employing people. Sorry, I dropped my phone again by by employing people to end up being just as successful as you are. Now, I'm, you know, the people that contact me wanting information about symmetry, I will go into way more detail on the mechanics of how um, the company is structured as far as overrides, as far as um, making money and all of this stuff. It's not in, you know, I'm not going to put that out on this page because I have not gotten any, <clears throat> I have not gotten any, 
uh, approval from Symmetry to disclose that part of the business. What I can tell you guys is that it's way different than American Incomes, and um, the structure of it is a whole lot better. Now, secondly, one particular person commented uh, this morning, actually, uh, or last night, so it really prompted me to do this video, because what he said was very, very true in a general sense as far as the industry is concerned. Uh, the person was stating that, um, you know, insurance, insurance agencies will hire anybody. Um, you want to get your own brokerage and, you know, things of that nature. You want to come on with a personal brokerage that's within your town so you can get the proper training. One thing is for sure. And of course, he proceeded to say that, um, you know, that I, uh, that me along with everybody else is just trying to build a team, build a legacy or whatever. And and make overrides off of people. Okay, so we're we're gonna we're gonna dive into that real quick. First and foremost, I cannot speak on his experience with whoever he was with, whoever he's worked for, whatever knowledge or uh, you know, whatever knowledge he has of the industry. You know, I can't. What I can speak on is my experiences and who I am as as a person. Uh, when it comes to training, when it comes to this, that, and the other, I am blessed with the for, uh, with the opportunity to hire anybody in the country. Okay, now, thank goodness for awesome technology, because whether or not I live in your state, I can still face to face, ver uh, you know, train you via video chat, uh, via telephone. Um, we can still see each other. We can still do role play examples. Um, I can watch you role play with your spouse or with a friend to make to see how you're to see how you uh, do a presentation and critique it that way. I'm not limited to just being in the same city or state that you're in. I want to be able to give everybody the opportunity that I have been given to be extremely successful. Period. Just like when I go see these families that I go see. These families, I always try to make sure that their situation is better when I leave than it was when I came in. So I always want to make sure that the people I talk to, whether in, you know, in, in, uh, about the company, that I make their situation better than it was before they came on, period. Don't take this the wrong way, but I don't need anybody to be on my team, okay? I'm fully confident in my ability to be successful without growing my le uh, my agency. I don't need that. I And I'm also, I'm gonna put it like this, with, with, with Symmetry, I'm not forced to do it. <laughs> and so I'm only, I'm only trying to recruit people because that's what I want to do. I want to train, I want to, people to be able to have the same experience that I was given and have the same experience that I am having with a very supportive upline with, a, uh, you know, with in a very strong uh, demand for the product that we provide in mortgage protection It's, I mean, that's it. I was given this opportunity from a friend of mine when I was working behind a desk and wanted to get back into the industry, but was scared to get back into the industry. Okay. I was let go from that company because I really, you know, I, I didn't want to be there. Um, so it was a blessing in disguise, but I dove completely in head first. And it, you know, you have my learning curve was about four or five weeks. You know, you kind of get your feet wet or whatever, but other than that, it's been great. So I don't have to recruit. I don't have to build an insurance agency. I want to. I want to employ people. I want to have people on my team that we're all being successful together. People can come to me and say, Cameron, I don't know where I would be if you wouldn't have called me and offered me this position. And for one, let's let's just clear this up. I can't speak for other companies, but what I can say without giving away too much information is that these overrides they it's all about what your what the difference in your contract rate is so if you have somebody that comes up 
that comes up through the ranking, right? And they're they're hitting all of their promotions, increasing their contract level. You make less money off of those people. For instance, if I am at a, you know, let's say I'm at a 75% contract. I hire somebody that starts off at a 60% contract. This isn't the case, but I'm just giving it for, for math purposes. The difference in the contract is 15%, correct? So when that person writes their first piece of business, I make 15% off of that deal. Not a bad deal, right? But let's say that person kills it, kills it, kills it, and they get promoted to a 65% contract. I end up making only 10% off of that. Then the next month, they, they, they write enough business to where they get promoted to a 70% contract. I only make 5% off of that deal. So 5% off of a deal is not that much money, guys. It's, it, it really is it, not. So unless you are very, you know, unless you're hiring people, uh, uh, unless you're hiring people on, on a normal basis like that, you know, and you're constantly having new people in, but it all the same premise happens with with everybody the same deal uh it's the same structure so i just want to be able to address that with you guys lastly thank you thank you thank you for all of the comments please keep commenting i don't care if it's i don't care what it is comment if it's something that we need to discuss we will definitely discuss it however guys this is a great opportunity here a fantastic opportunity I want to get as many people on board with this as humanly possible. If you have any questions about it, I'm going to answer it. Okay. Whether or not y'all, you know, you like my answer, I'm in the business. Okay. I'm working for Symmetry Financial Group and I, I'm going to continue to work for them. So whether, whatever I say, if you guys don't like it, then just don't work for the company. <laughs> just, you know, that's it. But if you do like it, let's talk, man. Let's talk about, you know, uh, uh, let's talk about the possibilities. Let me let's really get sit, sit down and let me tell you about the company itself. Again, guys, recruiting, recruiting, recruiting. I'm going to have my email address in the description box. If you want more information, please send me an email. Uh, put your number or I can respond to your email, but I will definitely want to set up a time to talk to you, send you the welcome, uh, you know, send you the hiring packet. Let me know if you already have your insurance license, all that good stuff. And let's rock and roll, guys. I'm so ready to, 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 to start a legacy, to, to build a team with everybody, whoever, with all that that's involved. I'm ready and I'm ready for y'all to do the same thing. It's all about in, in, in America. It's all about who can own what. Everybody that's successful, they own something. They either have their own business, you know, that's it. They own property or whatever, but you cannot do it by yourself. You can't do it by yourself. Thank you so much, guys, for commenting, for, for liking my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Please comment on my channel. Do all that good stuff. I look forward to seeing you guys later. I will do a do another video here in a few days. Let this one get out there in the universe and see what type of reception, what type of reception we get. Y'all have a good day. Stay focused. Email me. Recruiting, recruiting, recruiting. Email me if you guys want any more information. Y'all have a good day. Take care. Be blessed.